Um, I saw We Live in Time with Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh. And, oh, I actually have it right here. They handed out these little tissues. I don't know if you remember RB3. Ah. We saw Marriage Story. They handed us little tissues for that one. And I cried during Marriage Story. We all know it was my number one that year. I was like gunning for Adam Driver. Again, speaking of Joaquin Phoenix, I was hoping he was going to beat him for Best Actor that year. Um, But I needed these. I was trying not to touch it. So I actually ended up bringing tissues. Mm. What? I I probably can't give a big full spoiler, but I will have... um, or of course not a spoiler, but a big review. Um, but I will have an article coming up on Geeks of Color that kind of goes really in depth on the film. I was blown away. I think this is one of the most beautiful, one of the most human films, um, just kind of really exploring life and the human condition in such an authentic uh, and just very sincere way. I think um, the love in like the writing, everything in front of the camera, behind the camera works so well to kind of, give that little glimpse and of course if you've seen the trailer you know the story so i went into it thinking it was going to be sad um and it was but more than anything it was just so so beautiful it was like a celebration of life of memories of vignettes um that kind of you know leads you on the path that you're on and that type of stuff just gets me um and then i cannot say enough how incredible Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh are. I know they're two of my favorite actors. So of course, in the most unbiased way, um, I just think they have this magical ability to make us feel every single ounce of whatever their character is going through. If they are laughing, we're laughing with them. If they're feeling pain, it's going to cut us deep. Um, There is such a sincerity to them. And then so that paired along with this beautiful script, was just unreal like they cry and you'll cry um Mm -hmm. so i'm not even joking that i had tears in my eyes throughout the entire runtime and i cried many many times um but i cannot stress enough how beautiful and just magical this film was it's easily in my top five i don't know any of my orders or anything yet um but yeah it lived up to every single one of my expectations and i'm actually seeing it again in a few days so can't wait to cry round two (laughs) I can't wait to see it. I really do. How do you feel about the award attention that it's going to receive? I mean, it has, uh, I think we kind of know A24, not to continue ragging on studios, but A24 does really fumble award season. Um, and it's very, very disappointing because something like this easily, like this can win both of them so many awards across the board. So I hope they get that like FYC backup um, from A24's end. Yeah, there's so much, honestly. Um, I I want to see that happen. And they deliver. And even like the, the release date of this and The Brutalist. I know The Brutalist is another big one that A24 is having that has like awards talk already going on. I'm very, very curious to see months from now how they're going to they're going to roll out the FYC campaign. So fingers crossed. There is more than enough potential for them to get those awards, especially I want Andrew to get it like literally win best actor because of tick, tick boom as well. Uh, I, I wanted him to win that year. I did really love Will Smith and King Richard, but Andrew Garfield was my number one. How do you feel they're going to do with when it comes to picking? Cause I know it's Adrian Brody and Felicity Jones, right? That's brutalist. It is going to be interesting because I do feel like, Felicity Jones is Felicity Jones, man. Like, this is, you know, this is Jen Urso, bro. <laughs> um, no, but like, dead ass, like, she's like a really well respected actress. And then Adrian Brody as well. Um, and then Florence Pugh is like, I mean, she's a superstar. So I do feel like sh- they, they might try to invest in her more. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Like, who they've knows? both gotten so many nominations, right? Yeah. Like, Felicity Jones has at least gotten like two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she um, won for uh, Theory of Everything, if yeah. I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, so you're already like an awards darling. Florence Pugh is so young in her career and the amount of accolades and she's, she's already is just darling. yeah, that's she's like a generational talent. Yeah. I feel like her and honestly, there's just such an incredible class of actors working right now and she's she's part of that young group. Um She's at the top of it in my opinion. Her her and uh and the other homegirl. Sorcia? Lady Bird. Yes exactly we know right off the top of our heads we're like they are just like dominating so many of these roles it is funny because i think sorcia ronan was offered um the role in black widow that florence Pugh plays 
Yelena. And I think she turned it down. And it is pretty surprising that Florence Pugh at the top of her game um, accepted something like that yeah. during like, the Marvel crew. So she kind of does, a, she has so much range. And again, everything I was saying that was like it all, this entire film hinges on their performances. The screenplay is incredible. Like, but you know, in the hands of two people that maybe weren't them, it might not work as well. There's just so much authenticity, so much sincerity. Um, I hope A24 will back all of this because I know I was very disappointed with Iron Claw last year and the fact that they didn't put anything behind Zac Efron at all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. it's, it's another, definitely going to be interesting. That's Go another year that I feel like that's another one that they put all their chips behind. What They, they had a one big one last year. Um, that they put all their chips behind, okay. and you know they 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 tend to do that. Um, I already yeah, forgot. Nothing for Priscilla either. Last year, yes, yeah, no, they yeah. didn't. No, they didn't. Uh, but the, again, but then, the, but then again, it's like on the flip side, they had just one the year before with Everything Everywhere, and then they did one with Moonlight too. So they have a couple of here and there, but it's like you're right. It's like there's not. Also, I feel like A24, which I'm very happy that this one's good and the other one's good. I hope they don't part. I like Maxine a lot. I actually did like Maxine, but I feel like Maxine is kind of the most mid of the of the Ty West trilogy of Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know. And I just I wish, you know, I feel, I have a feeling that they're going to push that one because it's Hollywood. It's like a very Hollywood centric movie, you know what I'm saying? Um, and plus they wanted to give Mia Goff some praise, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did that even do well? At the, at the end, because I know like word of mouth, that was kind of another one where people were like, damn, this is so disappointing and it had so much potential. I don't know box office wise it, if it even ended up doing super, super well. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. I am all for um, horror performances, getting nominations or really uplifting those. But out of that entire trilogy, if Mia Goth got anything for that one, and it's not even her fault. It's just her character had nothing to do. They're just like long there are just so many moments she's just staring at somebody talking and her mm. face is just kind of like <laughs> and she just had her character's just walking around the back lots she's just constantly like i, I was yeah. so bored by it and it was so crazy because it had so much potential like we talked about so i think that is very unlikely i don't think we'll see maxine anywhere in awards conversations maybe if there was like a golden globes moment but even then i don't right. think so yes yeah, i feel like Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say just that put up A24's website. Their 2024 releases yes. have included um, Maxine, Sing Sing, The Front Room, oh. um, A Different Man, uh, Janet Planet, Civil War, I Saw the TV Glow, Problemista, and Love Lies Bleeding. So many good ones. Yeah, that's a lot of good ones. Yeah, I was gonna say Problemista, Love Lies Bleeding. Uh, those are probably not necessarily oh, like yeah. actresses and actors awards but but they're still really good yeah um, even like i saw the tv glow is also in my top five easily if not one of my number probably my number one um and even then that's another one where it's like you know again genre film it's not really going to get that much awards consideration yeah i think from basically from like a different man on Whatever their releases are, those are probably Sing Sing as well. Uh, you know, Coleman Domingo for that. Hopefully they can put some behind him because I know people are giving him so much praise. Yeah, I guess yeah, it's I, some technical I, I, wars for Civil War. Sorry, my bad. Oh, yeah, that's No, no, you're good. Yeah, I could see that as well, for sure. Um, for me, it's it's uh, it was past lives last year. That's yeah. what it was. And, and Zone um, of Interest. And Zone of Interest. And Zone of Interest. Good point, good point. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, those are definitely the ones they probably put their weight behind last year, um, more than any other ones for sure. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting because I do feel like Florence is definitely getting a lot of attention, um, in her career in general, but then again, the return of, uh, of a Felicity Jones, you also have Amy Adams playing a dog. Um, but it's going to be an interesting, <laughs> isn't that what she's doing in the movie? I don't know, bro. She is, uh, but Amy Adams... Know. There's something, and I love her. I love Amy Adams, but Hillbilly Elegy, Dear Evan Hansen. Yeah. I feel like she's a lot of Two these L's. that have like it's like the potential. It's so many, uh, so many L's. She takes a lot of these that have this potential. I don't think Night Bitch will or Night B uh, <laughs> will be bitch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I really don't think that will have any legs either. I know there is some positivity coming out of some of these festivals, but I just can't imagine a world where, you know, I think, is it Searchlight? 
yeah. that's mm-hmm. doing that. Okay. So they're also usually really, really good too. Again, they have like a lot of the Yorgos films. Like they have any like art house Disney film is obviously going through them. Like their FYC campaigns are incredible. They had Banshees of Sharon years ago. Um, but yeah, I just can't see a world where Night Bitch gets Amy Adams a Best Actress Oscar, but I'd love to be proven otherwise. The only way this happens, and this is purely my speculation, is if it hits. Like if it hits big, like let's say it just randomly kicks ass and randomly just makes like, I don't know, $50 million or something. And then like like suburban moms are just like really into it. And they're just like, that's me. <laughs> I'm a dog. <laughs> no, yeah. but, uh, Yo. But they're like, Yo, that's me. I feel lost. I feel like mm-hmm. empty. You know, my husband ignores me. And like all the, you know, the ladies out there, all the all the white suburban moms feel seen somehow and just make it like a big hit like like uh not barbie but like a halfway barbie, barbie but for suburban white moms yeah <laughs> i'm gonna do what barbie was it anyway uh. <laughs> um I, I just feel like if it hits big i could see people being like all right let's invest money into the fyc i am reading the book right now i've had it for so long uh it's been sitting on my desk probably for almost three years at this point i cannot imagine a world even though it is very interesting i think it's almost too crazy it's kind of like the way substance is is kind of like if you have that idea but a mother you know we say she's turning into a dog like yeah i just i can't see i think it's almost too weird for mainstream moms i can't imagine like a wine mom going to see this unless she's like a little cool you know what okay. i mean yeah maybe i'm wrong yeah i don't know maybe it's uh demi moore <laughs> yeah. uh she takes it just what? takes the that oscar that'd be so sick and look yeah look, and then, demi, that would be amazing actually that would be mm-hmm. dope i will say fox searchlight they could pull an, an oscar nomination at anything they're they got flaming hot an oscar nomination which is like who would have thought the hot cheeto movie would get an oscar now um, yeah, but that's Becky that, G, bro. Becky G got that. And nomination. didn't Diane Warren write it? She wrote the song. Yeah, she wrote the song. Yeah. Right. That's right. Diane. Right. Well, you know, Miss Diane is always getting nominated. Yeah. She is. They gonna figure out a way, the way to get something. 